The story you're about to hear is a compilation of documented true facts about historical characters, events, or locations. Please sit back and listen as I narrate this story to you. The Ninoy Aquino International Airport Bullet Planting Scandal, also known as Laglag Bala or Drop Bullet, or Tanim Bala or Plant Bullet, was a Philippine scandal that lasted from September 2015 to early 2016 in which airport security personnel at Ninoy Aquino International Airport, or NAIA in Metro Manila, were accused of planting bullets in passengers' luggage in order to extort money from them. Reports of passengers at Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport being accosted and fined for possessing bullet ammunition began to gain traction in September 2015, capturing the attention of the general public and later, both the local and international press. The illegal possession or purchase of firearms and ammunition is prohibited in the Philippines. Some passengers arriving at Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport claim they are being falsely accused of bringing live ammunition through security checkpoints. At least five alleged incidents of airport security personnel placing bullets in passenger bags to extort money from innocent travelers have been discovered by Manila airport officials. Among those claiming to have been victims of the scheme are domestic workers, a Japanese businessman, and an American pastor. Although the Aviation Security Group claims 30 cases have already been recorded from January to early November 2015, here are the cases that have been made public thus far. Lane Michael White, a 20-year-old American missionary, accused Naia personnel of attempting to extort 30,000 pesos from him and allegedly planting a bullet in his luggage on September 17. White, who was supposed to be on a flight to Palawan, was held at the Naia Terminal 1 Police Aviation Facility for six days before being released after posting a 40,000 pesos bail. The Philippines National Bureau of Investigation filed charges against Office for Transportation Security Employees and Philippine National Police Aviation Security Group officers on December 10, 2015 for allegedly attempting to extort money from Lane Michael White but the Department of Justice dismissed the criminal complaints against the employees in June 2016 due to insufficient proof that they planted the bullets. September 18. Reed Austria de Guzman, a Filipino balikbayan, said she was forced to hand over 500 pesos to two Naia Terminal 2 personnel after security claimed to have discovered two bullets in her luggage as she was boarding her flight to Los Angeles. De Guzman denied owning the bullets but agreed to pay the security guards after they allegedly threatened to record the incident on her travel records. Naia officials later stated that the two employees had been relieved and are being investigated. On October 14, a teen student on her way to South Korea to compete in a singing competition missed her flight after a bullet was allegedly discovered in her bag. She was forced to rebook her flight in order to attend the competition with her choir. The student was released after a smaller, unfired bullet was substituted for one allegedly found in her bag, according to the choir manager. Gloria Ortinez, a 56-year-old overseas Filipino worker, was barred from leaving the country for Hong Kong on October 25 after authorities allegedly discovered a bullet wrapped in red cloth inside her bag. Ortinez, a long-term migrant worker, denied having the bullet and said she would never bring it with her because she was well aware of Hong Kong's security laws. Susan Ople, an OFW advocate, slammed the accusations against Ortines, saying it was clear the migrant worker was innocent and should not face charges of illegal possession of ammunition. On the same day as Ortines's arrest, a Japanese national was detained for allegedly concealing two 9mm bullets in his luggage inside a long-sleeved shirt. On his way back to Japan, Kazunubo Sakamoto, 33 years old, was stopped at the Naia screening checkpoint. He was charged with illegal ammunition possession, but he posted 80,000 pesos bail. Revelina Combes, 68 years old, failed to board her flight to Boracay on October 29 after being arrested for allegedly carrying a 45 caliber gun bullet in her bag. Combes, a resident of Aurora Province, was apprehended by members of the Police Aviation Security Group at Naia 3. Bullets were also discovered in the luggage of 60-year-old Agosto Dagan, a passenger flying from Davao City's Francisco Bangoy International Airport on October 30. 
He was bound from Manila and was arrested on October 30 after two live bullets were discovered in his luggage. The most recent case in Naia involved a 65-year-old woman who was denied boarding her flight to Singapore after an X-ray monitor revealed the image of a bullet inside her bag. Cavite City resident Nympha Fontamilias refused to have her bag searched until her lawyer arrived. The bag was locked and the outer pocket was sewn shut, but a bullet was later discovered in the side pocket. Fontamilias, on the other hand, denied ownership of the bullet. President Benigno Aquino III instructed the Department of Transportation and Communications to investigate the alleged scheme. Based on their initial findings, the National Bureau of Investigation later confirmed that the bullet planting scheme was the work of an extortion syndicate. The NBI investigation found that some porters were involved in identifying potential victims for the bullet planting scam. Airport officials and the Security and Immigration Services, stationed in the airport's four terminals, allegedly targeted victims after porters identified them. The elderly and overseas Filipino workers were the most common victims, but foreign tourists were also their targets. According to a memo dated June 3, 2015, from the Office for Transportation Security, they have a cash reward policy for finding contraband items such as weapons and explosives at security checkpoints with rewards of up to 1,000 pesos for explosives, weapons, stunning devices, and dangerous drugs discovered by their personnel or security screening officers. Assistant Administrative Director of the Transport Security Risk Management Bureau, Roberto Almadin, confirmed the existence of the memo but stated that only two to three people had received rewards. He also requested that the public separate the memo from the Laglag Bala extortion scheme. The memo, signed by Office for Transportation Security Administrator Roland Rocomono, also stated that the incentives were implemented to boost the welfare and morale of their personnel. The category list was revised in a later memo dated July 8, indicating that their personnel could claim rewards for a single piece of explosive and every five pieces of ammunition found per month. People should not be concerned about the scam, according to Transportation Secretary Joseph Abaya, who said his agency would combat it by studying the structure of aviation security, setting up additional CCTVs, changing handling procedures, where only the passengers handle them, and stepping up the investigation. At least 40 members of the Office of Transportation Security are being investigated. Planting evidence can result in life imprisonment in the Philippines, according to the law. Abaya also stated that some of the concerns stem from mistakes made by the passengers themselves. A mother placed a bullet in her daughter's luggage, believing it to be an amulet that would protect her daughter. While another passenger borrowed a bag from a colonel, live ammo was accidentally left in the bag. According to an aviation security group spokesman, airport police are not involved in the scheme and his agency's officials only became involved in passenger screenings when an illegal item is discovered by an official from the Department of Transportation and Communication, which is directly responsible for the screenings. The public outcry over the bullet luggage scheme is growing. Filipino domestic workers protested the arrest of a maid who may have been a victim of the scam in Hong Kong. They are calling for the general manager of the Manila airport to resign as a result of the scandal. The existence of a syndicate planting bullets in passengers' luggage at Ninoy Aquino International Airport was downplayed in October 2015 despite the fact that lawmakers from both houses of Congress demanded separate investigations into the matter. On July 6, 2016, then-newly elected President Rodrigo Duterte directed new aviation security group chief Mao Aplasca to inform passengers caught with bullets that they would no longer be arrested. They would only need to go through profiling and would be able to board their flight as soon as they were cleared. Hey everyone, I just wanted to express how grateful I am that you took time out of your day to listen to my narration. This is Nikki of Twisted Mind and I'd like to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Salamat!